Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Flinger Foo and welcome back to Arc Basics. Today we're going to be heading over so where we can take a look at a little guy that likes to hang out in the newbie areas, the little areas, the coastal areas, the safe areas. Um, yeah, that's right. Today we're talking about the Parasaur. So let's get over there and let's discuss everything that you need to know about the Parasaur. I know, it, um, experienced players, well, you'll already know most of this stuff, but all the beginners... I mean, this is stuff that you need to know, and when you're just coming into ARK, what better way to learn than just with a quickie basics video. So hey, sit back, relax, and we're gonna get basic. Alright, so here we are, over on the beach over here, and let's get down to our skivvies. Because we don't need any of this stuff, because we're talking about basic stuff here, so let's go in with the basics. Bam, there we go. Nailed it. I think I'm looking pretty good. Yeah. All right. This sits me nicely. All right. So, hey. So, talking about the basics, when it comes down to Parasaurs, these guys on that like to roam around, the Parasaur on the beach, they really provide no danger, no threat level, no anything like that whatsoever. Um, they're just going to wander around, kind of get in your way. Once in a while when you're doing stuff, they'll come over and they'll try to bump into you, stuff like that. Um, they're just wandering around. That's just their AI as they work. But, um, like I said, they provide no threat whatsoever if you walk up to it and you punch it he's just gonna take off he's just gonna peace out going off over on his merry way all right now how do you tame one of these you might ask well the easiest way to tame one of these guys is because they're not gonna aggro against you so you're not gonna be able to drag them into a uh, taming pen unless if you kind of work out a little bit i mean you could probably funnel them into a taming pen kind of situation so where you could get them where you want them but the easiest way is when you uh level up and then you get bolas these right here level nine really easy really quick really low level stuff and now the bulla only takes 15 fiber, 3 hide, 3 stone, and 10 thatch. That's it. But when you craft it, you probably want to have about 10 times the amount of these uh, materials so where you can craft 10 because the bullas, they craft up to a stack of 10. Right here. This is their massive, this is their uh, max stack. Let's get all this stuff off our bar. We're not going to need any of that super stuff for this tame. All right. Uh, we're not even going to need the spyglass. Nothing like that. Um, now, if we wanted to, we could go with a crossbow. That would work on this as well. Um, but I think I'm also going to try to use a bow for this demonstration because they're so low level. They're they're so they're much lower level than uh, the crossbow. So let's go craft up a bow really quick, and then we've got a date with that dude walking back over there. That's right. You be Friday night, buddy. We're going doing something. That's right. It's going to involve bullas and drink arrow. That didn't sound right. All right, well, hey, let's move on. I'm going to go craft a bow. I'll bring you guys back, and we're going to discuss a little heart-to-heart -heart with this Parasaur that's walking around, just minding in his own business. Yeah, he's all over there, all by himself, just chilling out. No idea what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, so now we're just crafting up a couple bows. Now, whenever we're loading up bows, the, one of the best things I try to tell people is you always craft two bows. You don't just go with one bow. You go with two bows, so where you can alternate between the two um, for here. Let me show you. You have one with regular arrows, bam, right there, and then you have one with trank arrows. So where when you need to, wrong button, you can just have this one right here, so where it has regular ones, and then just on the fly, bam, right there. Trank arrows ready to go. And then when one um, breaks, you can always just switch the arrows. But this way here, it's just easier to cycle between the two. Okay, so now, what we've got this, all we do is go up to this guy. Bam! And then all you do is smack him in the face. With some trach arrows. Until he goes to sleep. Just like that. Night, night, dude! Have a good trip. All right. So yeah, now that he's out, um, these guys right here, they're really not going to need too many narcotics. They might need maybe a little bit of uh, um, narco berries. Nothing really too bad. Um, I just kind of like to offset their uh, taming 
when you when it goes to that and I will do another basics video on the easiest way to just tame a dinosaur so what we're gonna do with this right here is just we're gonna go over and we're just gonna hand pick berries because that's really all it takes for a parasaur because you don't need too much hardcore stuff for these guys you don't need to go prepping anything anything like that you can just tame these guys on the fly as you need to but you're gonna come to find out that um if you get a parasaur early on and it you just raise it up as you're going they have the chance to become a really good buddy for you um during the game during the mid-level game during the early game and generally you can grow to become very attached to a parasaur just because of their utility early on and their speed and their stamina and how far they can just take you and then eventually when you get into the mid game and the late game they become even better as you move into different territories take off parasaur i'm shooting a video here oh you're a 120 oh okay no pieces no time for pieces of candy right now all right so we're just going to take these uh measure berries measure berries are the preferred berries we're just going to throw them on there and he's going to eat. And all the narco berries that we get at the same time that we're gathering up berries, we're just going to throw those on there as well. And we'll just throw all the rest of these guys on there. I'm not going to throw the stem berries on there because I don't want to accidentally feed them to them. But we don't need any of that and that and that. And this is, what, this, this is the best way to tame your parasaur is just throw your trash on it. Yeah. I swear, that's really the best way. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for this guy to eat. I'm going to wait and let's see when he eats... How much does one berry put inventory? What? Apparently he doesn't like my berries. There he goes. Okay, yeah, so he's getting hungry. He's feeding. He's finally recognizing that those measure berries in his inventory are something that's worth actually mowing down on. So now that he's doing this, his taming effectiveness and his taming speed is just going up. Yeah, and measure berries, they don't really lower their taming effectiveness that much. I mean, they really will. You won't get a perfect tame off measure berries, but they're really not going to do too much damage. Later on, when you get kibble, if you um, see the need to eventually kibble tame a parasaur, you can do that. I've never really felt the need that, that there is to do because measure berries, they just work. They work so well. Especially when it comes to stuff like parasaurs. Now, as soon as this guy gets up, I'll bring you guys back and we'll discuss a few different things about the, the benefits of having a parasaur. See you guys when this guy gets up. Alright, this guy's up, and there's really only one name that I like to name my parasaurs anymore, and that is Paris. Where later on in the mid-game, I can tell him to shut up when he starts doing his little yell. And we're going to discuss that right now. All right, now what um, these parasaurs do, they actually have a thing called alert settings. Now, if you uh, change this guy to, uh, you can you can change what he calls out, but here, let me show you. Put it on turret mode. Now, he's going to have this little yellow um, oh, uh, aura on his face, and he's going to send out this pulse. Now, what this does means that he's going to uh, shout, and he's going to holler. And let's turn him off of uh, follow. And he's going to notify us if there's any bad things in the area. Now, if there's a bad thing in the area, a um, big message is going to pop up on top of your screen, and then it's going to tell you exactly where it's at, and it's going to highlight it. Here, let me show you where... Come on, Perry, let's get over here. Let's get over to a bad guy. All right, now I had to move this guy over this way. Let's see. Let's put him back on turret mode. Bam. Come on, dude. Shout out. All right. Yep, see, there we go. Now that there's uh, I'm a bad guy in the distance, he's going to shout out, and he's going to show you exactly where that bad guy was with the little red circle when he did the shout. Yeah, and that's how he's going to notify you where any bad guys are. There's another one over there. There's another one over there. And now when it comes down to bad guys, for the most part, it's just carnivores. Anything that uh, is basically eats meat, they'll shout them out. Um, I, I've never really noticed them shout it out on anything else all right but now that we've got perry over here he's shouting in the distance we're going to kill this dillo all right and then we're going to um go and we're going to harvest up this guy's little bits where we can start crafting up a saddle now the saddle for these guys it's it's pretty easy it's really not too bad it's just uh Oh, uh, 50 um, fiber, 80 hide, 15 wood. Now, the 80 hide at a low level will actually seem like it's a bit much to gather, but in order to gather that, really, the easiest thing to do is just grab your bow that has the regular arrows and go around and start getting these little dillos that are around on the beach. Um, if you just farm them enough, 
you can get that really easily, really quickly. And it's just, it's really simple. And when a dill is coming right at you, headshots are super easy. Then you just walk back over and grab some more of your arrows right back up. It's pretty simple. All right, so hey, let's gather up a bunch of this stuff. And then, um, yeah, also off these little dodos, you can get um, everything you need off these dodos as well. I mean, you can either arrow them in the head, or you can just uh, use your hatchet on them if you don't feel like doing that. But yeah, it's it's really easy. All right, so now uh, we still don't have enough. Let's go. Let's do this on camera. I heard a dude. Oh, there's a dude. Hey, dude. All right. I need you for your bits. Later, dude. All right. So now that we've got that, let's go like this. And then, bam. And then now we've got all the stuff that we need except for the wood. So let's go grab some wood really quick. It's really easy to gather up all this stuff for the Parasaur saddle. And then um, once we're done with this, we're going to discuss a few different ways of knocking out Parasaurs. Um, and then we're also going to discuss some of their utility after you put a saddle on them. So let's go like this. Parasaur. Craft that up. And stick it on Perry. Alright, so now that Perry's got a saddle. Alright, we can take him. Sable turret mode. What is his weight? Can he even carry us? Oh, he totally can. Alright, cool. He can carry us. Alright, so now a Parasaur, when they're, uh... When you're riding them, these guys right here, they have a really good stamina. Yeah, they're not the fastest mount in the world, but if you level up their movement speed, you can get going pretty dang far with these guys. Their stamina tends to last a little bit longer than some other dinos. Not as long as other dinos, and we'll cover those in other basics videos, but for now, we're just talking about the Parasaur. Uh, so now, when you're on the Parasaur, the left click attack is just a simple bite. Now, this bite attack can be used to gather berries if you aim their face right at the bush and then you harvest it and it harvests quite a bit of berries it's it's pretty good at the early game all right now if you use the right click attack it sends out that same pulse that happened while they were in turret mode now if you right um if you use the c button while you're on like this they'll use this shout where they spew uh um spit all over the place and then if any bad guys are around in the conal area from that shout, they'll take off. But you notice that it has a pretty long cooldown. Um, see up in the top right screen the uh, um, where it says horse and the timer is going down from 97 uh, seconds right there? That means that there's a two minute timer in between each usage of that. But if you're out and about on these guys and you use that attack, they will scare away any carnivores that are in that co frontal conal attack it is pretty impressive the amount of utility that can gather when you're kind of alone on the island out wandering and exploring because parasaurs are one of the better dinos at the earlier game for going out and cruising along the beaches and stuff like that Yes. All right, so hey, now that we've got this covered, let's go over and we're going to talk about a few other tactics on how to knock out a Parasaur because Parasaurs, they're really easy, really effective. And like I said, if you level up a Parasaur all the way from the beginning, um, go through the game, um, through the early to mid game, they can become a really good buddy for you to get around, especially if you level up movement speed because they can get going really, really dang fast. Um, and then when you get into the mid game, you can park one on your uh, base or a couple around your base strategically and then they can uh, use their turret mode and d um, tell you whenever any um, like gigas or rexes or anything like that are coming around in the distance. All right, so now let's talk about a few other ways to knock out a Parasaur. <laughs> All right, now another way to knock out a Parasaur, wooden club. It's pretty easy, it's pretty effective and... It'll do the job just nicely. Now, you can learn the Wooden Club at level 8. It's one less than the Bola, but, I mean, if you're already there at the Wooden Club, you might as well just go to the Bola. But, if you can't, if you don't want to go towards the Bola, we will show you another tactic. Because, usually, whenever you smack a Parasaur, they have the annoying habit, or the beneficial habit, however you want to look at it, at running away from you. Now, if one is running away from you... Oh, there's a raptor over there on my beach. Last time I did a basics video, one of those dudes decided to come gank me. All right, now, bolas are great for taking out raptors, too. 
That's right, if that guy comes over towards me, I'm gonna bully the crap out of that little jerk. Yeah, that's totally gonna happen. Alright, so let's see. There was another Parasaur around here. I'm probably gonna have to go. There's one! I see you in the distance. Of course, you're over by the raptors, huh? Ah, uh, little jerk. Alright, so let's get over there and let's take a look at this guy. Come here, buddy! I have a club. I need to smack you with it. What level are you? 30. Perfect. Alright, so now when you hit this guy, bam! Try to get as much up front as possible. Now he's gonna run, and sometimes he'll stop and you'll be able to smack him, but generally they tend to run towards rocks. And whenever they get stuck in rocks, which usually happens, okay, this guy decided not to go towards the rocks. Dude, you were supposed to go towards the rocks for demonstration purposes, right? You're not cooperating on this. Get back here. I know where you live. Okay, he stopped. All right, now, um, every time you hit them with a club, they're gonna be gaining torpor. Now, if he loses aggro, or if he gets stuck in the trees or something like that, it's gonna be beneficial towards us. Come on, stamina sprint back. Get back up there. All right, we gotta go catch this guy. Or you can just kind of follow this guy around, and he's gonna eventually lose aggro. But if you get him down to below 25%, he's just gonna keep running and running and running. And I have a feeling this guy's probably gonna go run over towards the area and get. Yeah, he's probably going to run out and drown. He might actually be below. So we're going to try to bolo this guy. Thank you. Come here, dude. Give me your face. All right? I'm showing people how to knock you out with the club. All right? Come here, dude. I swear, this is this is, hurts me more than it does you. I swear. That's a lot of blood. So what did you do today? I clubbed a Parasaur into unconsciousness. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's another great way of knocking him out. It, it, you notice, it, yeah, it almost busted our club. You might want to have a couple of them on you or just enough stuff to repair it on the fly. Especially if you get it trapped into a, um, a big um, area of rocks. It's really easy to knock these guys out. Um, you can even punch a Parasaur out. But if you're punching a Parasaur out and you don't have, like, say, a club, you just want to, you know, like, level one, you want to punch it, you got to make sure that uh, you don't uh, kill yourself in the process because it can happen. Because whenever you punch something, you take damage. Here, let me show you. Bam. Yeah, see, we're taking damage. If we just keep punching trees and stuff, we're going to end up slowly killing ourselves. But we're going to do Torpor, and you can, it is possible to knock out Parasaurs just by punching them. Yeah, that's a thing that you can do. But you just want to make sure, because it usually takes a while to do it if you're going to punch them. Um, yeah, you can do that. Alright, so hey, now that we uh, took out the Parasaur with our handy dandy club. Alright, I think that's probably going to do it. Um, I'm going to come back, I'm going to show you what um, these Parasaurs can look like when you actually have them at higher levels, at higher speeds, at higher weights, stuff like that, because I do have some over in my base that are properly leveled. And we're going to put on our handy dandy... Uh, Oh, uh, tech gear and get over there and we're gonna take a quick look at one of them that has been properly leveled up All right, so hey Perry, where'd I leave you? Dude, I can't leave fine. You know, what? I can totally leave you on the berry on the beach Perry Where'd I leave you? I know where you live. All right. All right. See you guys in a minute All right, so here we are back at base now. I've got this guy this he's been passively leveling um in my base for a long long time Oh, there is an alpha raptor right there all right, well, let's go see. Let's go down here after that Alpha Raptor decides to munch on the other guy. Hopefully, he's not chasing me. I, I, I don't want to mess with Alpha Raptors during the basic series. At least not right now. But let's go take a look at this guy. Okay, that did not work on that guy. But we're fast enough. We can actually slowly outrun this Carno. See, we can just get away from this guy. Now, I'll show you how I've leveled this guy up. And it's actually quite effective. Um, yeah, so Carnos can't um, catch up to us, which is quite beneficial. Now, if you're running along and you aggro something like that and you want to get rid of it, all you do is just run right by this turtle. See that turtle right there? Bye, turtle! Yeah, you're going to have a bad time. See, and then the Carno, oh, well, the Carno aggroed on other stuff along the way. But yeah, that's how you do it. You just run along one of these, uh, um, next to one of these guys and they'll aggro on it. 
but yeah, it's pretty easy. Now, how I leveled this guy up, I put a bunch into movement speed. He's got, this guy's got a lot of XP on him. Seriously, Dillo? All right, yeah, this guy's got a lot of XP on him because I've had this guy for a long time. And of course, my foo is deciding to throw poop at everything. That's what foos do. All right, so yeah, um, here, let me, am I finally in a safe spot? All right, yeah, um, this guy right here, he's got 225 movement speed. Um, I pumped a little bit into stamina and a little bit into health, not too much. Um, this guy was actually pretty good. I think he was 150 when I tamed him out and about in the wild, but it worked out quite well. Yeah, um, so get this guy, get their movement speed up to about 225. You can outrun a bunch of stuff. I really don't think we're going to be able to outrun a tech raptor. But yeah, I mean, tech raptor, I mean, I mean, uh, not tech raptor. Uh, alpha raptor, there's really only one way to take out an alpha raptor. Well, actually, there is a lot of different ways of taking out a tech raptor, or an alpha raptor. But, this is how I'm gonna do it. Come here, dude. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? I forgot. I've got a ton of thylacolios here. And we will eventually cover thylacolios. And alpha raptors. And all sorts of stuff like that in the basic series. Because I plan on going through and do doing every single thing we possibly could and covering every single dino in the game this way. You are a really cool looking alpha, dude. Yes, you are. Too bad you're about to be meat waffles. That's right. So yeah, avoid alphas and your uh, parasaur should be good. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right. So now that we got that, now that we've covered everything that you can with a parasaur, then hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the basics video. Make sure you click that thumbs up down below. If you're new around here, subscribe. I do a lot of soloing videos. I do a lot of stuff with the Gaming Evolve crew. And yeah, until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody.